All right, my friend. What we're going to talk about now is conductance. Hope the music in the background doesn't bother you, but we are going to talk about conductance. And conductance is the ability of a material to carry current. Okay? So, what we're going to do, we'll take some sort of material, any material. Okay? Put that material, and we're going to put some sort of conductor, a material on it. And what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, some sort of current going through there. And the current, well, either way, I don't care, you know, but uh, you know the rules. Conventional or conventional, whatever, <laughs> electron or conventional. So you got f current flowing through there. And you're going to think that conductance, it's a little different, okay? So you know it's a material. And uh, let me try to get this out of here. So that way we could have other things. You got to think that it can be thought of as uh, being inversely proportional to, it, to resistance. Okay, if you see this, okay, inversely proportional to resistance. That's how you got to think about it, okay? So now you gotta also remember that as resistance decrease, more current can be carried. Let's put resistance. Let's put uh, conductance. Someplace in there, right? Conductance. So what's gonna happen in here as resistance? As it goes down, okay, resistance is going to go down, bang, okay. What's going to happen with uh, conductance? It's going to go up. Remember the opposite? One goes up, one goes down. If the other one goes down, the other one goes up. Simple as that, okay. So, uh, as resistance decreases, more current can be carried. See, resistance going down. That resistance go, it's going to go down. Now the conductance is going to go up. That means that's like when the current goes up, the uh, boom, it makes it more conductive. Okay, think of it that way too. Okay, so that way you won't get confused or myself. <laughs> All right, cool. Now. Now, if resistor was increased, the conductance would decrease. Now, let's do the opposite. This one here. And this one here. See it? Resistance increase, conductance decrease. Just the opposite. And of course, what is the basic unit of conductance? Mole. Mole is the basic basic unit of conductance, which is the conductance that exists with a resistance of, uh, let's say, one ohms. Okay. By the way, mole is ohm spelled backward. Yo, <laughs> see, O H M is ohms, and M H O is conductance. So they're kind of also reverse. Okay, and one thing you got to think about is that I'm not talking about uh, Larry, Curly, and Mo. It's Mo. Conductance. Now let's bring a, a unit out here that are represented. For instance, this one here. This is the formula that's used where G is the conductance in Mo. G 
is a conductance in mole. And R is the resistance in ohms. That we know. You should know that by now, according to what we studied before in resistance. Look at all my videos on L D I A Z M D I A Z. Okay, straight L D L D S M D S in YouTube. Type it up and look for resistance, Ohm's law, and everything. So you'll learn more. Okay. Now, as we continue, we're going to use an example here. Let's get all this thing out of here. We're going to get this out of here. We're going to get this out of here. We're going to get this out of here. We talked about that. And these arrows, we don't need them. Enjoy the music in the meantime. Okay, let's give an example. A circuit having a resistance of 20 ohms has a conductance of 0 0.05 mole. Okay, let's see. Let's calculate that now. Okay, there you go. Conductance equals to 1 divided by R, which is the resistance. It is just a re the reciprocal of R. And we said 20 ohms, right? And it has a conductance of 0.05 ohms. If you divide, 1 divided by 20 it gives you 0.05 mole. Correction, mole, okay? That's very important to use the word mole backward, okay? Because we're calculating conductance. Okay, my friend? Next thing, with the conductance given, the resistance can be found by the other formula. You could rewrite that formula. You see here that G equal to one divided by R. So one divided by one divided by R equals yeah, one divided by G is equal to R, and one divided by R is equal to G. To swap them. Just take the reciprocal of the other number. That's why they're inverse, okay? And then that'll give you a f another formula, okay? We'll give you a, let's give you an example. A circuit having a conductance of 2 mole has a resistance of, let's find out. Okay, let's put that up here, puppy, and see what we got. And you'll see the difference here, okay? Uh, separate this so that we could have a little more space and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. A circuit having a conductance of two moles has a resistance of 0.5 ohms. As you can see here. Now we're calculating resistance. And you, you can see you can notice something here that wherever the resistance is larger when I got the resistance large, see R here, 20 ohms, when it's so large like this, larger than 1 ohms that is, okay, the conductance will be smaller than, than 1 ohms, see it, 0 0.05, that's less than 1, okay, when this is larger than 1, this is going to be smaller than 1, okay. And conversely, if the resistance is smaller, if the resistance is smaller, like you see here, 0.5 ohms, if it's smaller than 1 ohms, the conductance will be larger than 1. As you can see here, we got 2, not 1, 2. Okay? Because this is less than 1, this is 2. Okay? So, by studying this, you can learn a lot, and, and that is standard a standard formula because of this. This is why. This is why everything is just as we talked about. Simply because 
Sometimes the fart this acts a little slow on my computer. You don't want to know the story, but <laughs> it says one divided by one equals to one, and one times one is one. So that's why if one goes up, the other one goes down. If this one goes down, this goes up. Simple as that. All right, my friend. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I know I'm a little shaky and nervous here because it's my first time, and I, it's so hot right now, about 90 degrees. This is Luis Diaz. Don't forget, L D I A Z, M D I A Z. Go to YouTube and type it up and look at all the videos I got about 23 or 24 videos there, and and pick what you like there. All right, thanks a lot, my friend. Take care.